How do we convert eyeballs into the best thing in the world? Booked appointments. That customer or potential customer for your MSP says, I want to either book time with you, I want to book a meeting with you, I want something, right? I want to understand what you guys do. I'd like to give you give a I'd like a discovery call, I'd like an evaluation, anything like that. And this is a video I've been hiding for a while because I wanted to make sure that it had a massive massive impact on your MSP. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs grow, whether that's sales training, marketing, or even business operations. Now, if you're seeing this video and you're at ScaleCon, which is ScaleCon24, you should come and say hi to us. You should probably be paying attention, but that's okay. You could go say hi to us at growth-generators.com forward slash discord. Go in there at me and say, I'm at ScaleCon. I'd love to get together and meet you. And I'm putting together a little group message there. Otherwise, if you'd like some free resources, growth-generators.com forward slash resources, or there will be a masterclass in the first link down below. So let's talk about the actual process from eyeballs to not just leads, but people taking a serious call to action. And that call to action is hopefully booking time on your calendar. Now, the first thing that we have to figure out here is where are people coming in from? And I know my incredible art skills are world renowned, so please take them with a grain of salt here. But we need to figure out where our dream customer is actually coming in from. So I'm just gonna draw you know, f some Facebook, right? Maybe Instagram, right? Could be a little blog post in here and that's supposed to be a B. It could be a video, right? It could be literally something as simple as seeing us on another podcast or a podcast that we host, right? There's so many other areas that they can actually find us. And one that I don't talk enough about is actually, and hopefully you can see this, but just a little email, right? We could send this in an email in order to get them to actually move forward through the process. Now, at some point, they're gonna have to make a decision, right? Because we've worked super hard to get their eyeballs. And this could be Facebook, or better yet, let me add one more in here for Google, right? We have Facebook, Instagram, blog posts, videos, podcasts, emails, or Google, right? Because that email could have been somebody else's email, or it could be an email that you're actually sending out. Now, the next phase of this process is not just saying, hey, I'm getting the attention. We have to do more with that attention. If we don't do more with that attention, they're never going to want to move forward with the relationship. They're never gonna to wanna to be, you guessed it, a customer. We have to make sure that we're providing value through the entire process. By the way, if you could take a second, like, subscribe, and notify on this video, it would be tremendously appreciated. But we have to bring them over to, I know you guys have already heard me talk about this quite a few times here, but we need a landing page. But on this landing page, we need a massive amount of value on this landing page. We wanna drive people over to this landing page, right? They are hopefully going to take some kind of action or see this and decide, hey, let me land on this landing page. And this is, I don't uh, that's not the straightest line in the world, but that's okay, right? We have that landing page. Now on this landing page, they need to see something wildly specific. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you because this is where things get crazy. We need to show them value. If they don't see value in the landing page, they aren't going to do anything when it comes to getting their attention, to booking that call, booking a meeting, saying, hey, give me a call, let me get a discovery meeting, anything like that. They're just not gonna move forward, right? So that could literally be on here. There could be a little play button, right, for a video. That could be a call to action. That could be a downloadable, a worksheet, a checklist, maybe even a video that's hidden on a second landing page. And you don't always need a second landing page here. And I'm just going to draw another one, right? That actually has maybe the training. And I'm just going to draw that a little smaller here, right? Maybe it leads to another training. It could lead to a case study, a blog post, something that maybe they don't abundantly see or something you've never actually released publicly. This is really where the process can actually go. But I'm gonna erase this landing page for a second because ultimately, right, there's a bunch of different strategies that we can get into. For this case, we wanna make sure that this 
page here stacks enough value. You may need to, right, with a call to action. So I'll let you guys take a little screenshot of that if you'd like. But we might need two things. I'm gonna stand out of the way here for a second. Hopefully you got your screenshot, right? They're gonna go to the landing page, they're gonna get the training, right? And maybe there's another call to action. But realistically, now we need to drive them to something. This has to be so jam-packed with value that they go, oh my goodness, I need to learn more. I need to find out about these things. And it works tremendously well. Doesn't matter if they came in with Facebook, Instagram, maybe even you got a business card, right? Videos, blog posts, maybe somebody's sharing it out, they, an email, maybe they found it on Google. Once again, it doesn't matter. Even on your website, I could add that right here, www, right? They go to this landing page packed with massive value. But the more important thing is, after they see this, and usually there's gonna be a landing page following, but for the sake of running out of room on this, I want, you know what, we're gonna leave that landing page up. All right, LP, I'm just gonna do a little, right, and then another call to action. The most important thing is they're gonna get value, do you wanna watch the video, do you wanna watch the training, here's the call to action, boom, we get, Contact information, right? First name, last name, all through here. They get this training, discovery, whatever it might be. But the last and most important thing, and this sounds crazy that I even have to say this, but it is super, super important. On this next page, we need a strong, not only call to action, right? But a, a that action has to be something where we know they are going to move forward in this process, right? This could be a calendar link, right? That could be a, you know, should we call you? I'm just gonna do a little pound sign here. Should we call you? But you now know that, hey, they've gone through from one of these, they've gotten a ton of value. Maybe they received free training, the blog post, whatever actually happened, something hidden, right? And then they go to this call to action. That call to action has to be that last punch to get them over the huddle, the, the hurdle that they are going through. Additionally, right, we have this pretty basic kind of funnel being built here. But not only does this all happen, right? There's gonna be two more actions that happen after this. And this means they are going to go through and hopefully get a bunch of emails, right? If they decide not to call, not to book a meeting, not to say, hey, I need somebody on site. I want somebody to look at this and hopefully that's, in, yeah, it's in frame, right? They go through this. They're gonna get a bunch of emails that are going to hopefully go through a nice email sequence and se sequence and sequence, not being buggy, but trying to, hey, they went through this process. We wanna make sure something else happens. But I've left this bottom part open here for a very specific reason. If they get to this point, I'm actually gonna change over to blue. We almost have permission to do a couple different things and certain things should happen, right? We now know something major has to happen and I'm gonna just cut this all over here so you can see, right? Right, something major has to happen, right? What does that major thing happen? There should be two actions. One, it should be a clear indicator that you need to call this person, right? We need to pick up the phone. If they didn't commit over here to booking a calendar, we need to make sure that we are, that we have a major call to action. Additionally, and I wish I could find my red, white, uh, my red expo marker, but it should pop up in the system, and I'm gonna shrink down the word call here, just so we know that we should be calling at this point, right? We have a call. We could tell our CRM to notify us, right, about something happening, right? A major lead. We had somebody come through and say, hey, all of this is happening. We provided them with value that they've never gotten from anybody else. That could be a local training video, that could be a virus that maybe you're worried about or your target customer is worried about attacking. You talk about the problems, the solutions, how you help, right, in this additional video and the training, but you also let them know, hey, 
If you want our help, you want us to go through, you want us to take a look at your system, make sure it's updated, you have appropriate antivirus, book a call with us, or should we call you? Some people might not do this, and that stinks, but that's okay. It should be a major red flag for you. And once again, I'm rocking the blue here. You should be calling this person 100% asking, but the CRM should be notifying you. And that CRM notifying you could mean that you're gonna go pop into their office, you're gonna call them, you're gonna send them a specialized email, but something major is going to happen on your end. Some action needs to take place. You could even send them a piece of mail if you want with like postalytics or something like that to let them know, hey, they got this special training, they decided not to move forward. Why not? Boom. And then you go through. If they decide not to answer your phone call, they decide you, you know, you flag them in the CRM, they're just gonna get a bunch of emails, and that's good. But you should be calling them, you should be reaching out, and your CRM should flag them either as a special priority or something. They've taken some bigger action than most other people. They've gotten to this point, right? If they only got here, or they only watched this and they never actually clicked over, and this didn't exist, right? Good old math where you draw two lines through it and it doesn't matter. But if they never made it through here, they never had the opportunity to book a meeting. It's only when they go through this entire process here, they come in through one of these channels, they go to our landing page, they want the call to action, they go through, they give us their number, their email, their first name and last name, they go to this landing page. Some actions happen here. We wanna design these to make sure that they convert as high as possible. They go through here, but they don't take an action. They took the step of clicking the call to action to drive them over, right? But they never made something happen over here. That should be a red flag for us, a major red flag that we should call them, they sh we should get notified in our CRM, and they should be getting a specific sequence of emails to drive more interaction with your MSP. I know that that's a lot, but this is something that high level can do, which is obviously the CRM that I absolutely love. You can build this into WordPress among many other platforms. High level comes with our program, MSP Heroes. If you'd like to check that out, there will be a link down below. But this process is literally prints money because the more eyeballs you can get, right, of people coming in, the more calls to action you can get, and you could drag them through this whole process to truly have the best ROI on your marketing efforts. And the more people we get in, the more calls we get to make statistically. So I hope you guys found some value in this. Hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.